Hello, my name is Arctic Cobra. Today, we have a request from Complex Evil that says, <laughs> you're pretty much getting this crack. I'm not, trust me. Cracks are hilarious, no matter how, mu how many there are. Um, so, but thank you for the request. I, I, I will, I added these two videos to the list of things to watch. I'm only going to react to one today uh, because uh, if you haven't watched already, I did um, um, another Cinema Sin parody video. Uh, Everything Wrong with Ruby Volume Two. So go ahead and watch that if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, if I do, if I, I, I'm pretty sure I have another video that's a lot longer one too. So I'll, I'll add the second part to this, um, to that video as well when I do that. But yeah, thanks for the quest. So things we want in Ruby Volume Two. Um, it's an old video, of course, because Volume Two is already out. But it might be cool to see to see if uh, if they predicted anything, kind of thing. So, click that link, go to the video, watch it for yourself. Click that link, go to the video, and see all the other videos that they've made and such. Leave a link down below for any kind of Ruby stuff you want to watch in the future, and I'll make sure to add it to the list of things to watch. So, let's go. Sorry, sound. And I was like, oh my god, and she was like, no way. <laughs> like, yeah way. Fascinating. I'll turn it up a little bit. Okay. Oops. <laughs> hey. You uh, know that guy? I guess you could say that. <laughs> hey, let's go see what your sister's up to. <laughs> That is true. She was not in. Oh my god. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> How did I miss that? She wasn't part of the landing strategy. My mind is blown. <laughs> she wasn't there. Holy crap! <laughs> Yang, Beacon is having a field trip to the Black Smithsonian. But we need a parent's permission to go. The Black Smithsonian? Ruby, you've got to think of a way for us to go. They have a life-size replica of the Rifle Tower. <laughs> Don't worry. I think I have an idea. Hello, Mr. Ozpin. <laughs> I am Yang and Ruby's father, Ruben. Ruben. <laughs> yeah, that's my name, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we were, at the intergalactic heaven of Padme! <laughs> It was Nihop. Rations were low and depleting, <laughs> leaving thousands to starve. They only had enough for one last meal for the chosen one. They were low on batter. You can only make one more pancake. <laughs> to my surprise, I was not the chosen one. I was devastated, of course. But suddenly the heavens parted and showed me the true messiah. Ren sacrificed his very soul for me and gave up his heavenly status for my well-being. I had the last order. She was crying, so I gave it to her. <laughs> <laughs> From that day on, I swore to protect him at all costs, and him for gracing me with such kindness. She's been stalking me ever since. <laughs> nice. Carter's leg break, what? No sign tells me, Carter Winchester, what to do. <laughs> that was a close one. Oh man, someone should do something about this ceiling! Uh. <laughs> oh no, my legs! 
They are broken! My <laughs> leg! <laughs> 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 I got it. <laughs> They're broken! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that was a weird ending. Um Yeah, at first I didn't I didn't think about uh Card in his leg and Nora saying, "Well, break his legs," <laughs> kind of thing. Um, uh, if you think about it, uh, Pira was the one that like put him in his place in the second season, um, volume two, um, with that whole uh, fight scene that Pira did, like took took out his entire team pretty much single handedly. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so. Thanks for watching. Click that link, go to the video, tell them what you thought. Click that link, go to the video, and see, all, or go to their channel, and go watch all the other stuff that they made. Leave a link down below for any kind of Ruby stuff you want to watch. I'll make sure to add it to the things to things to watch. Things of things to things to watch. Yes. <laughs> so, thanks for watching.